Hi and welcome back. To feel rejected will not help this condition. You have find yourself. The only thing that can help you is to make sure you have accepted this situation now. And how do I move on? Knowing that we are human, we can be perfect. And it's not everybody who will like us and accept us. It's very impossible that everyone will love us, want to be around us or find us perfect. Why would you allow someone who is not going to stop his journey of life because of you? Why would you allow that person to stop you? Why would you be rejected, condemned, not wanted? You feeling not belonging in this place you want to belong to because of someone who is still moving on. This person is still going to forge ahead and continue his life or things he wants to do. Why are you stopping because of this person? And why should someone go and cry his head and shed tears, become so sad that you can no longer feel happiness or find joy in you because of someone who reject you or something you are, you didn't get why after some rejection i could say in 2000 the year 2000 i was new in germany this is the picture i took that very day this picture the year 2000 i felt so rejected because someone who has permanent stay i had documents when i came here my documents can take me like 10 years but if i stay 10 years I could be asked to go home or because it was a study visa or I will find a way to stay here and that was my first move of finding a way to stay here someone connected me to someone and someone rejected me not because I'm not good enough I tried to find out because I, I like asking questions I like wanting to know I asked questions from him and the person who connected me and the answer was that he doesn't want to give his paper to someone he doesn't want to of why his brother be the one who gave someone documents and i was even at home thinking if me i will accept this person i saw the person the person was handsome the person was good but in look but the person was also short this person who rejected me i know many things i can talk about that i didn't like about the person but i wanted to change my life i wanted to study him like this person rejected me so when the person rejected me I told myself that you came here for this. It's either yes or no. Anything you want to go to or you're in, you should have in mind that it should either be positive or negative. You're not going to win every time. We make the mistake of not accepting failure. How can we move on? How can we continue to achieve things and pass to have a result that is positive when we don't know how to work on rejection? And the most rejection that pains us the most is when someone we call our bestie, our best friend, betray us or reject us. When someone we call our husband or wife is the one now who doesn't find us good or not good enough, who's not satisfied with us, either the way we look or the way we do things. These are things that break us and destroy us. But why should we allow that person who is not going to stop Who's going to continue to destroy our own life? Why? Why go to bed and cry? Why stay and not have joy because of this person? The most important thing for us to learn when it comes to rejection is that there are few points you have to have and own these points in your life like they are part of your bread. It's you selling your shame. When someone rejects you, you shouldn't be ashamed to step up, to walk with pride, with confidence, with contentness and say, I am okay. I am perfect. There's nothing wrong with me. This person who rejects me is the problem. 
you have to see it. It's not because we are saying it, but because it's like that. There are things people will see in you that makes them feel inferior. They wouldn't accept this. They can't deal with somebody like this. That thing they might see in you, maybe arrogant, pride, and confident, they see it in you. They don't like to deal with you. And they want you to do away with those things because they have seen they can't just walk with you because these things are worse. You have built around you to protect yourself. And when they come to do those things, evil plan they have with you, and they wouldn't work with your kind of personality, they start rejecting you, thinking, oh, this one is too opened eye for me. I want somebody who will be more quiet, who I can do like this and do like this. Some people, like people, they can manipulate and suppress and have a way to rule and shine alone and gain from you without losing. So they don't want it when you have some more wisdom, a little bit wise. This will disturb them. There are many reasons why they will reject you. So whenever someone rejects you, stop thinking about the negative. Ah, like me, mm -hmm. because I can't walk well, I have a care leg. This is the reason why this person is rejecting you. Or the person is rejecting you because you are ugly. It has nothing to do with that. It always has to do with these people who are rejecting you. Sorry to say this. If you have checked yourself and see something about your character, you're not dealing with human beings in a way to get something from them and then use it alone without sharing with the person. You're not bringing something into this relationship. You're only there to take you're not going to contribute into that relationship. You're not going to be there to make sure it's well with the person you are with. You see that in your life, you add to people's success. You 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 help people and you, you love to love people. And you search yourself, your heart is good. Then you will see that some of the things why they are rejecting you for is their own problem, their own weaknesses, not only your problem sometimes. When they find out that you are the kind of person who will not take this kind of their lifestyle, which is not good, the kind of thing they do is not good. And they see you the way you are, the way you talk, you are so open, you, you don't have fear, you are, you are confident in things you are doing and you're straightforward. They start to get fear and they start to get cold, uh, cold feet about how to deal with somebody like you. Are you going to hide them when they do something wrong? Will you be able to tolerate this thing they're about to do? Their lifestyle? How can they manage you? Some people even run away from you because they think you are expensive or you have tests. They want people they can buy cheap things. There are many reasons people are rejecting you. It's not just about your look, how you look. But how you go about it when you have dropped what people call shame because sometimes we shame for what we don't need to be ashamed of oh he has rejected me for that i should be going like one tiny ant and hide myself and then and they cover myself with shame i've been rejected oh now he has rejected me or she let me go and then uh, die go away from here and pretend i'm no longer existing simply because he or she has rejected me no that time when the person rejects you is the time for you to shine not going around and uh, tormenting people by showing you ah you see how i am you do not no noise making just you helping yourself to continue move on and achieve whatever your aim is go after your day-to-day -day activities as though nothing happens Without letting that person see your pain. This is what I'm trying to stress. Let the person not see that you hurt. Because sometimes they rejoice and say, we have achieved it. We have her where we want to have her. Oh, because we didn't do this, so she's not able to do this. So when they try to stop you, you try to move ahead. When they think you have fallen, let it be the time you are shining. Let them know that they have no influence on making you happy or unhappy. They have no power. 
in the way you run your life, the way your happiness and functions in your life. Because the moment they start feeling that this thing they are doing to you is getting to you, the more harder they work to bring you more time. Don't say yes to rejection. And let the person know that the person has rejected you and you let the person know that you are about to move on. You are on your way. Immediately, this, you turn back from this thing you people are in, then you're going to walk to greater heights. Let the person not feel that you have stopped because of him or her. Because the person is not going to stop because of you. There is nothing that made you less human for someone to say, I reject you. If you are not good in your profession and someone is rejecting you because you are not good enough, then you know you need to work hard to be better. If you are not a very good person and somebody rejects you, you need to work hard to change your character and be a better person. But when you have checked and there is nothing you do to the person, why would this person use rejection to belittle you, lower you, that you lose your self-esteem? Why? So confidence is another thing. You need to make sure you don't lose at all. You need it. Ah, does so mean you could remember some of the songs they taught us when we were young? This song was uh, sung by, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention names. Say, show them the beauty they possess inside. Show them the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children laugh. So, when you have not been destroyed in your family, when your parents did not condemn you and tell you you are not good enough, this is a startup for a human being, every normal human being. When your family members are there behind you, who do you need to tell you you are not good enough? Even when the whole world, your family members have turned against you because you are bad. So should you stop existing? Should you say, oh, I'm finished? In which world will you go to live in if not still the same world? So you make it better for you and whoever is around you, then you can continue to live your life and shine. Don't let anyone tell you how you should feel. Because this person is saying his opinion or, or she, her opinion to make you down so that he or she can have their way. Oh, it's better when she's down, she's rejected. It's better when we don't associate with her. Let us meet and gather and not associate with her so that uh, life will be miserable for her. This can be miserable for people who are seeing rejection for the first time. People who are seeing it for the first time and thinking the world has ended. All my life, all I fight through is rejection. Some people don't want to be your friend because of one reason or the other you don't understand. After some years, you start asking yourself, what really happened? Some people don't want to be, be your friend because you're taking first or second position in class is already a problem. Some people don't want to associate with you because, oh, she has what to put on and me not. You don't have what to put on. Some people don't want to associate with you, oh, because you don't have anything. You go there and embarrass us. You don't know fashion. Some people don't want to associate with you. You are not educated. They want, don't want to associate with you. You are poor. They don't want. What is it that you do in life that you will not get rejection? So it's better for you to beat your life and wait for rejection because it will come. Even the better you are, the better chances of rejection you get. The worst part is this one, you live with a man or you live with a woman because all that people outside, you're not seeing them every time. And the man or the woman rejects you. You have to say 100% no to this one. 100% no because this one can destroy you for the rest of your life. Either you guys come together and work on it or you have to leave this relationship. I'm the one advising you this one. This one is not going to work. Because anyone who has started rejecting you already, the person is leaving something with you. The person has left anger with you because you are sad when the person rejects you. 
you have been left with bitterness, not just anger now, the bitterness that is deep, disappointment. Some of us who do not know have lost their confidence and are so down that for them to pick up themselves and uplift themselves will take them a lot of work. And this is why you don't even need to fall in the first place. Don't dare fall. Don't let anyone break you. Because the moment you fall, for some people who have not picked up themselves for a long time, never before picked up themselves from down, they might find it difficult to pick up themselves. And this is why every day you wake up, you take your bath, you rub your cream, you come to the mirror, you say some things to yourself, say, I am unbeatable. No one is going to stop me. I'm like a moving train. No one is going to stop you, you tell yourself. Because there's no one like you. It's only you. Only you. No one is like you on this earth. And God has made you so perfect that no one can reject you. Even when they reject you, that you know what you are. That you know who you used to be. It's every time good for us to remind ourselves of who we are, who we used to be. Because no matter how our look change, we are still that person. Let's make ourselves a fighter that these people who come to destroy us, mostly women, or women who try to tell the man that the man is not good enough, is not uh, worth it, he has no money for that, he's less a man, that the person is less, whatever the case may be, that he makes the person less. This is not a good thing for you. If it's a character, one can work on character. If there's something that will make somebody reject you, that is not a good thing. And the person is not going to turn back to like you. The person can only come and pretend. And the person is not going to come back to accept you 100% fully accepting you because there's something that made the person to reject you in the first place. Don't say, oh, my life has finished because now I have 50 children and let me just stay here and who will want to have me? On this same day when I thought nobody wants me, in the next two days, I got a phone in 2000 from someone else who I just said hello to. I thought I'd been rejected. Oh, how do I do about this paper? How do I get documents? So someone was busy who has better documents, was busy asking for my hand. And the person bought me for a few days after we came back. That day, I was rejected. Somebody else wanted me. So it, every time you've been rejected, there's someone waiting to get a hold of you. So you can't be the last person on earth. This person who is rejecting you cannot be the, the best person on earth to have you. That can never be your last chance. When it's not this person, I'm finished. Because I, I, years has gone. I'm how many years old? Who want to have me after so many years of? When this door closes, another one is about to open. And that's why whenever you are down here, wash up yourself clean. I mean some characters and say, yeah, if you feel that you've been reduced, your quality has reduced because of this, 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 because you're no longer you're young and the years has passed, then change some characters. Okay, say, no, if I used to be so stubborn, let me not be stubborn again. If I'm used to be this, let me not be this. But in your favor, in your favor, don't change for somebody in the person's favor, 100%, unless the person is working towards your favor and the person's favor, not someone who is trying to use you. Make sure that when you're changing so badly the things that made you you, let it be in the favor of you and the person. This is the problem women face. They will tell you, change, change, change. They will tell you, you are a bad person. Every person who is pointing hand at you and telling you how bad you are, please try to find out in which angle you are bad. And when you change, who is it going to favor? Please. And know what is wrong with you. So that you won't be deceived. I've seen it. I've seen some of it. Eh? I've seen some of these things. What we can go through in relationship. The rejection and the rest of it. 
don't go broken, broken because of who? Because of which person you want to die? You know, haven't you seen old women remarrying? Haven't you seen people who are married to somebody who they don't like, but they are still there, they fought it that the man even have a change of mind and start seeing it positively? Why don't we let our own color, our characters, our goodness, no matter how evil somebody is, let our goodness overshadow the person. Let we not accepting rejection dominate the person rejection for us, that the person starts to accept us by fire, by force. Why can't we? Why can't we stand on our feet and let the person see that this rejection is not for us? Somebody treating you like you're nothing and you're doing like you're something. You are the dementing. Somebody treating you like a cheap article with that two words, with that challenge. You telling the person that the problem you have is that the quality in you is too much. You don't know where to, you don't know where to drop some of it. That is overflowing. Why let someone tell you something else? You know who you are. Before you met this person, you were someone. No one broke you. No one destroyed you until you got here. You know how your parents from home, how people used to say you are something. You know, even without people saying you before, you are something. You know what you used to be for yourself. You trained yourself and you woke up. You saw you were good. You had the confidence. You loved yourself. And you saw you were good. You were so good. You were satisfied. You were saying, thank God for who you are. So why should someone now come after how many years of your life? Even when you're 15 years. You had that 15 years sound. Not feeling so inferior. Not feeling less of yourself. Not feeling like nothing or rubbish. I've not somewhere from no... From nowhere, someone is going to tell you today that you should be better. After all these years, you've worked to become you. Now someone is going to come from nowhere after those years you've gotten here to tell you you're not good. So all these years you wasted it. You are doing nothing. You are just rubbing rubbish on your body. Why would you accept rejection? Why would you say yes to rejection? say no to rejection because that person is not going to stop so since that person is not going to stop the person will never stop you it doesn't matter how many years it takes it doesn't matter how many years the person have used you and kept you here made you sad couldn't satisfy you couldn't give you what you want because you are less you are not worth it you are not worth anything good there's no way i can tell people about you because you're not good enough because the person thinks there's no way I can give you something that has quality because you're not worth it. There's no need to wed you, marry you, or bring you out and show people and praise you when you do something right because you're not good enough. You're not worth it. That you should know. There's a truth the person is not telling you. You are worth more than the person is giving you credit for. This person is afraid of something. There are some men who marry pretty women who are doing well, who have their confidence, who are shining and brought them inside and hide them. Because of jealousness, they don't want people to look at their woman. Some say they don't want people to touch their woman. Stop working, stay at home. And that woman who was so precious that you took and you put in your house, you don't want anybody to even scratch their body on them when they're crossing by. One day, you reduce the woman to nothing. And now you're saying, that woman you were hiding, that was a treasure to hide. It's no longer anything. She said, who are you? What are you? You rubbish. Use your head. If you're a man or a woman, that somebody is telling you you are not worth it, just 
rewind play back from the first day you meet the person what the person said to you and all how you can see the person is feeling or talking about you how the person regards you play back rewind to see who is lying to whom is he you who is not worth it is he you who has no value that he should he or she to should reject you or is he him or her think i've come to this place to tell you the truth anywhere i lie right i've lie in this one before people reject you they're afraid of something because they need to suppress you oppress you and suppress you and get you chained before they can have their way that's why they're using this rejection to intimidate you wake up it's night walk they're trying to walk you it's for you to know if it's in your favor or against you the moment somebody tried to tell you or reject you it's a sign of telling you you are not good enough the person is up to something why would you instead of you to uplift someone who has something to do with you and carry the person and praise the person and carry the person to greater heights you are busy suppressing everyone who loves his husband or wife Try to push the person high so that the person will be this special person who has watched something. And you, your intention is to press the person down. Bring the person, make the person nothing. You're up to something. You have a plan. That's why. This person who is rejecting you has a plan. The plan, he or she is still working on it. It has not yet matured for the person to bring out the plan. Or the person has in stock for you. When somebody starts to, when they bring your topic or you say something in a public or where, wherever, he or she tries to condemn it and make jest of you, the person is up to something. When they talk about you in front of people, you are not there, instead of the person to say good thing about you, and the person starts saying bad, the person is up to something. There is something pending the person or disturbing the person about you. And the person is trying to make sure that you fall down. You get down. This place where you are is the reason why he can't get there to achieve his or her goal. Don't let anyone who is not going to stop. Someone who is not going to get so down. Someone who is not going to get destroyed the way the person is working hard to destroy you. Don't let that person destroy you. If that person is not working so hard to destroy him or herself, don't allow that person to destroy you. If that person is going to continue moving, working hard and doing well, feeling happy and enjoying life, the person is not allowed to do that to you. Whatever the person is giving you, that is not what the person is getting. You start acting on behalf of what the person is getting. That's the bold step to rejection. To attend to your pains, to your regrets, to your moving forward in rejection. Is you working in whatever that person who is doing this to you is benefiting. Then you won't feel rejected. Rejection is an art to suppress you and uproot you from whatever that is making you happy. So you're going to work against it and become that person who is rejecting you by living that life that person is living. You no longer feel rejected. That's it. Nothing else. Don't let stop us stop you. People who don't like good things, don't let them make you bad where you are not and it doesn't matter what people say about you as long as that thing they say about you is not you she don't worry you because you know who you are and you're not rejected you are accepted but because those people who doesn't like good thing will never accept you because the bad in them will not allow them to receive you
that's it that's it all for today guys that's it all i hope i'm able to touch some points in this rejection something because it's destroying most of us making us feel less than a human because we let it this thing is only us who can remove it from ourselves putting up the good fight and saying no i will not let it so i hope you enjoyed this program and it helped and we are going to see us next time in my next video thank you so much if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and i'll be happy to see you next time in my next video bye